everybody. Thanks for being here on Friday Fun with Andy and Debbie. Hey, hey Andy. Debbie. Hi. Hey. Um, happy, happy Pride Celebration Day. Right. We selected today to be our Pride show because we totally uh, support the LGBT uh, community and um, wholeheartedly in every way. And we wanted to kind of show our support in um, in our uh, what we're wearing today in the colors. And Andy, you look beautiful. <laughs> oh, Debbie, I love your tiara. Like my tiara. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Here, I, yeah. We're gonna do a close up on that. Oh yeah. Oh oh, we're gonna learn something. <laughs> da, 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 no, you're you're getting the whole <laughs> screen. Oh, there wow. We go. Well, um, yeah, I was, I happened to find this stuff, so it was really great. But we totally support our family and our friends, and um, it's such a, a, a thing that's close to our hearts. So we wanted to just to give our little shout out for we support you in every way, and so glad that that we can be here and and stand up for what we believe that's for sure right and right and so anyway um we um in honor of pride day we do have a prize today and <laughs> instead of the regular stuff today we're giving away tacos <laughs> yes what is with it tacos are like so uh so big right now you know the uh you had me at tacos and the t-shirts <laughs> and everything i'm like well i don't know how it just all kind of blew up but it did so it's a great thing for us to give away hey misty how are you it's a great thing for us to give away uh at the end tonight we'll be doing that um we're waiting for jackie you know, she works late on Fridays, just a little bit. She gets off and then she's got to drive home. We want her to be safe. So we're waiting for her to come in and join us. And um, I love that. Let's see. And I'm just looking to see. Uh, wow. I've got to just give somebody a thumbs up right now. So she'll be here in a minute. There we hey, go. I'm coming back. Hey, Larissa. Hey, Larissa, how are you? We will be doing a lot of readings today, but um, let me tell you a little bit about what we kind of decided that we were going to do with readings. Um, but we have other news, too, that we'll tell you about our Wednesday shows. Um, what we're going to do when we do readings, they're going to be on Fridays, and we're going to ask that you give us questions for tarot cards, which would be just say, hey, how's my love life? Or um, what else, Andy? Uh, yeah, money. Money, uh, relationship. Um, job. Job, yeah. Yeah. Or, you know, even like um, um, just like if something's going to happen within um, a certain time period, time period you're asking about, I can look at that. But we decided that we're not going to uh, do mediumship readings because we take a little bit longer to connect to that person. And I know for me, I did one last night and it takes me, um, you know, maybe seven or eight minutes of sitting and then bringing the person in and then describing them. And then I get another spirit in and so forth. So for the format that we have or the platform that we have going here, it, we have to be a little bit faster. So just a little fast questions. We're going to that way we could do a lot. Maybe we could get, you know, everybody all the time. Um, a little question answered on Fridays. Um and so our big news about uh, our Wednesday show is on YouTube Live. And we found, you know, I don't know, Andy, about you, but it's just this Be Live TV is just so much easier. Don't you yeah. think? Yeah, it is. And it's it's really neat, too. You know, we can show our, our comments. Let's see we got. Can you oh. grab one? Oh, Larissa. Is Why do you say sappy? 
Um, so what Andy's showing you is that we have a lot more we can do with this. Plus, we get to have the audience, and we want to have our, our fans here. Um, yeah. And so we decided that on Wednesdays, we're going to be right here, right here. And you can watch Wednesdays and Fridays. And then Wednesdays, um, we're always going to try to have a really interesting guest on. And then um, we will upload it to our YouTube channel, The Psychic Life. And that way we can just really connect with you and say hello and and be involved. It's just so much more fun and um, enjoyable for us. And we just love seeing your comments go. Oh, Larissa, your mom passed away 34 years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm. You know, she's with you, Larissa. So you just can talk to her. And I know it's not the same as having a physical person there, but she can hear and she can communicate with you. And if you do get a communication from her, let us know, like if the lights go or if you find a coin or um, something gets moved or if you hear something. Yeah, just let us know. Um, uh, Andy, I did a, a wild uh, mediumship on my one place where I do readings and I did 10 readings yesterday, oh, <laughs> 10 God. or 11. Yeah. Yeah. I was exhausted. I think that's why I was exhausted like you today. Uh, so what we, um, Jackie's, Jackie's coming in now. Um, okay. Just give her the high sign there. So, um, Yesterday, I did a lot of readings, but I'll, just out of the blue, somebody had asked for a mediumship reading. And on this platform, I don't do them. And I go, oh, my goodness, this is the, you know, literally the last one of the night. I go, okay, I'm going to do it. And so um, I usually connect with a photograph or psychometry. So a piece of jewelry or grandma's ring or something like that and or memorial paper or something like that. And I'm usually have the person asking me in front of me. So I go, Whew, let's, let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, look at Cheryl's got rainbows. Thank Yay. you. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you. So, um, so I connected and I was so surprised. Not only was did I connect with the woman, I went ahead and I connected with uh, the stepfather and brought in what mm. car he had and brought in <laughs> another person and it kind of kept going and it was validated. So that was uh, that wow. was amazing. Yeah, it just yeah. does take a little time for us to, to connect in. So w you can post your questions um, anytime you want. Go ahead and post your questions and just keep them for a tarot reading. And we'll take cards for that. And, um, you know, I could do some, Andy could do some, um, and we can answer your questions. So a lot of stuff is like... Um, we always get, you know, um, we're not going to tell you when you're going to get married, okay? Because that takes a while. Um, so just ask ask about a relationship, ask about a job, ask about money, anything like that, and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. Now, for me, I can uh, look at three months for you because I always take 10 cards. So if you want something to be looked at for three months, I'm uh, happy to do that for you also. I have a pretty deck with me. Oh, Larissa just loves listening. We're just like so hypnotic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you my deck. I, You know me. I use the same deck I've always had. Yeah. But my niece brought me, bought me this really neat deck. Oh, this is kind of neat. It's got the eye in the middle, the all-seeing eye. But what I, I like love that. about it, it's very much looks like Van Gogh paintings. It's really amazing, like Van Gogh type of. I forget what camera I have, you guys. Sorry. There. So they're I, really neat. Yeah. And then the sides are all gilded. Look at this. They're silver gilt. I love the silver. I've never seen the silver. Me. I love it. But 
you know, they're just really like, here's the emperor card. They're just kind of really neat, but they have a lot of color and they're just kind of got that edgy dark feel. Do you guys, anybody tarot readers that are here tonight? Um, I'm just kind of looking to see like, oh, and then there's certain cards that form a great big picture. Okay. This shows you really? like a Van Gogh painting. Oh yeah. So, you know. So um, I, I love them, but when you start getting another deck, you know, there's kind of crazy decks, you guys, like there's, yeah. you know, like the seahorse one, the mermaids, <laughs> you've got some. Yeah, um, there's tons. And when people come over and they say, what are my cards like? And I said, well, what is a mermaid? And what is the pearl? And what is the, you know? it's all different things they have in there and I have to, they have to tell me what that is and then I can help them. But um, so when I look at these, I'm like, Oh my goodness. Uh, what is that? But they're just beautiful. They're just, just beautiful. So now they're all messed up. Oh, well, what do you do? <laughs> I'll have to fix them someday, <laughs> but they're beautiful decks. And um you know, it's the easiest if you go ahead and just stick with one deck, one type of deck. Yeah. This card deck name. Okay, Carlos, you had asked me that. Uh, let's look. Oh, great. It's not on the front. It's, uh, it says the Visions Guide. Is that the oh. name of it? The Visions Guide. You know what I'll do is I will look it up. And I will put a link because, like, what is this? It just says divisions, James and Eads. Okay, well, I'll find it. And um, the Prisma Visions Tarot. So I'll find it and I'll put a link. Okay, I'll write myself a note. Carlos needs help here. <laughs> a link for Carlos. Oh. Uh, so, oh, Tony, you have a friend having surgery. Let me tell you something that when you have a loved one that needs to have surgery or, uh, or you know, uh, sick or anything, but especially if they're going to have surgery, that's when you can go online and or on Facebook. Facebook has a group called uh, Reiki, and you can get onto that and, and join. And you can ask them to send Reiki during surgery. Also, you can go to Google and type in free um, free healer healing list, free healing list, and have that person's name um, put on the list and um, of all these healers. And they'll send long distance during the surgery. So there's so much you can do. Plus, you can also, Tony, um, learn to try to heal yourself and i have a video on psychicfixes.com on how i heal and it's um using uh white light energy and putting it into the person so of course people can pray to, you know f during the surgery too and asking archangel Raphael to uh be there and help with the surgery so a lot of things sabine likes my tiara it's not a crown sabine it's a tiara because princesses wear tiaras <laughs> 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 yeah we're celebrating um pride month and uh hi brian brian grandis is a very uh talented photographer he, he's having a beach bash tomorrow mm -hmm. that i'm thinking about going going with steve and he tells but he tells me um there's 160 people that have rsvp'd <laughs> <laughs> so uh that's a lot of people so uh that should be fun yes tony um do just send the person um healing and ask the archangels for help and um also uh i would go into the reiki group try to join or go to free healing lists if anybody's ever sick so this is good for you guys if you're sick or somebody else is to go onto google and put free healing list all the ones that come up all these healers that do not cost any money go put a request in for healing then type in free prayer list and go on to all the reputable churches 
Okay. I always say not the church of Satan. Okay. But to the Baptists or to the Lutherans or to the Buddhists, the monks or the nuns or whatever, go ahead and put your name on and let them pray for you. Now, a lot of people think of healing as just being for physical, physical things, uh, affirmities, healing of finances. If you're in financial trouble, get yourself on those lists to the healers and to the prayer list for healing of your finances. Okay. You know, a lot of times we get, we get into situations and it's so hard when you're sick or it's so hard when you're having problems with family or you're having problems with money, go ahead and ask for healing of any single thing that you need in your life. And let's get all that good energy coming. And we all, you know, if you've experienced Reiki before, it's so fabulous and they're so, um, well, I burned myself. I don't know. You've got, I've got a big bandage here. Oh, yeah. And when I burned myself this week, I had three of them all the way down with burn, burn pads on. And so, um, you know, I, I took a picture, put it on my Reiki group and, uh, literally the next day, because I was red all the way down, um, uh, there was just a little thing here just a little tiny thing here the next day. And so I, I had a bad aid off except for um, it um, last night. Like, okay, it's gross. The skin came out off. So <laughs> I got a band aid on now, but um, do go ahead and um, um, send healing and try healing yourself. Try to heal others and send healing. If somebody's having surgery. Hey, Jackie. Hi. Hey Jackie, hey, Jackie, I got a tiara. We are rainbowed out here. I, my shirt has rainbows on it, but I think because the lights are too bright in here, you can't see them. Mm -hmm. Well, we can see <laughs> like your chin up, so I think uh -oh, that's probably hold why. Hold on, let's see. They had tattoos and stuff, but I they seemed like they were really big, and I said, "Where do you put that tattoo on your face?" <laughs> so I didn't get one. Put them on your arm. Hi, Tony. Thank you. Um, so we did tell everyone that we're supporting um, Gay Pride tonight, and we're happy to do it and proud to yes. be supporters of them in any way we can. We want to make sure that they get their wedding cakes baked. <laughs> By <laughs> God. Yes. <laughs> So uh, we were talking about mediumship and, and it kind of went off on different ways. And we've asked for people to uh, put tarot card uh, questions on mm -hmm. so that we could do them tonight. Guys, it's almost time to do readings. Can you imagine? Yes. And then uh, tonight is taco night. We'll be giving a gift card uh, for tacos at for Taco Bell. Uh, so hopefully you have Taco Bell wherever you live. I think they're everywhere, don't you guys? Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not in Alaska, yeah. but <laughs> or Hawaii. Well, I. Oh, well, Andy, if you can get get ready for in a couple minutes for the commercial, um, I want to tell everybody that um, Zoe was supposed to be on tonight, and she had to work, and she's the most wonderful performance. Uh, entertainer. So if you've heard uh, a Celtic woman uh, sing, she has the same voice. You don't know where it's coming from. She was in my backyard one night drumming and she sang and it was just, it's like, where'd it come from? And my neighbors were just like, well, <laughs> they asked me if it was me singing. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> no. But she also grew up, um, being friends with the fae so with fairies and she does automatic writing with the fairies so she her readings that she does uh are automatic writing and the fairies are doing the writing and she said that's a tough thing to do it's a hard reading to do and so she's gonna come on and be with us in a in coming soon uh, for um, to talk about the fairies and the fae and she knows the language and she sang the language um, and that was a, that was an amazing experience her voice is like she doesn't need a microphone you know one oh, of those wow. just this booming um, wonderful voices and she sang um, um, 
and a lot of times whatever just comes into your mind she sings and so with the fairy language she was singing and it was just amazing the words and everything and then it kind of went down and you know guttural type of low voice and then a few people that were there were like scared <laughs> 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 so I'm hoping that she'll give us like a little bit of singing when she I'm sure she will she has done everything from walking on stilts to um I think that really I mean she dresses as a fairy and and goth and just you name it she creates these wonderful uh, costumes. And she also has a children's program that she does for the summer. So it's a summer camp and she's in um, Texas. So um, I think the thing that stood out to me is she was in this room and I think it had mirrored walls that looked very French. And it was where people eat. And she, so we're looking at like a huge, tall, tall ceiling, really tall. And she she was standing there and almost to the ceiling with the costume, with the skirt that came all the way down. She was dressed in total black. And then they turned the music on and she did this out of this world kind of haunting song and with this operatic voice that she has. So you guys are going to just love her. I hope she comes on in costume though. I know it. I, I'm, I do have a picture of her so that we will show you uh, maybe next Wednesday her in costume. She's a beautiful, beautiful woman, and she's just so creative and fun. So we, we're missing her today, but we will have her on soon. So, um, Andy, um, we are being really good with our sponsors, and mm -hmm. the sponsor that we had Wednesday is also sponsoring us tonight, and I was wearing – some of her jewelry Wednesday and um, well, I'm wearing this special jewelry tonight, but I did order from her these silver necklace with like, like assimilated diamond, like this big on it. And she just texted me literally an hour ago or less and said, Debbie, I got the diamond and the big diamond. I'm like, yeah, I want it. So <laughs> I'll wear that later but go ahead and see if we can give her a shout out so tonight's sponsor is paparazzi accessories.com and that's forward slash 187 218 and this is by stacy carr so there's no catalogs it's just fun it's fashionable it's uh five dollars accessories that you can you can find um, do you have her link that we can post? I do. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to post it in the comments. Uh, for some reason, the comments aren't appearing on the recorded broadcast. So I'll probably just pop out and then pop back in. Can you, um, can you also share this to the dead talk page? Yeah. Or yeah, that'd be great. Um, if you can't, just let me know. Now, let me tell you, Stacy has this great business where um, uh, the things are $5. So it's earrings and necklaces. And I just loved what I wore last Wednesday. It was really cool. It's $5. And she'll go on live, which is a lot of fun. And then she'll have like an inventory there that she can just throw in the bag and mail it. And so you, we're fighting over them. <laughs> she'll say, here's never one. And everybody's like typing me, 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 you know. And um, so it's really a great thing. And we want to thank her so much, Paparazzi Accessories, for uh, sponsoring us tonight. That's really great. Um, Jackie, can you see comments? Anywhere? I am seeing a few comments. Um, okay, good. Because I want to make sure you guys please put in your questions because yes. uh, as soon Amber, as Andy's done, we're doing yeah. Um, Amber just asked if we were doing readings. We are. So we're looking oh, yeah. for questions. Okay. Um, we're not going to be doing meaningship readings um, where we're going to ask, you know, to talk, you know, talk to dead grandma or anything like okay. that. It takes too long. But if you have a little question about something coming up or a look at how's money this month or um, relationship or some guy coming in. In the next three months, I'll be happy to look at that for you. I'm going to yeah. just get some 
little cards because I write I write names down on my cards and connect a little bit that way. And I connect when sometimes when you see my hand go up like this, it's because Andy has put somebody's comment up and I need to I want I want to connect to the energy. Mm -hmm. So I connect a lot through my laptop because I do readings to, for people all over the world. And so does Andy. So but for me, I just put my hand right on the right on the um, laptop and thus if you do that, you have to always clear your electronics. Um, as Andy and I have a story in our new book that's for sale on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a story in here of where the other side communicates via text. But this is a story about the dark entities. So uh, uh, good and bad can connect uh, via electronics or closed captioning or text or electricity like light bulbs and things like that. But the stories in here are about the bad things that are um, connecting and communicating. And so when you are open up a channel through your electronics to do readings, you have to make sure that you're clearing it. You, different ways is just asking the angels to come or the white light uh, coming in from God and clear it. Um, a lot of times, of course, oh, here we go. This is black tourmaline. So this is real easy to set on your tarot deck or on shut your laptop and just set it on. It's really a protective stone. So lots of ways that you can do that. We are going to schedule a manifesting show. We're going to schedule a protection show. And it's so important nowadays to do the uh, protection because I think that the way things are happening right now and um, more and more people throughout the world are telling me that stuff is happening. Like things are coming out of portals right now at a really high rate. And, you know, it takes, um, it takes, and the angelic realm also takes uh, people here on earth to take that responsibility to put the stuff back. And so that's why a lot of people need to be trained, but we need to protect ourselves. So we'll have a uh, protection, maybe next week, a protection uh, show. Oh, good. Okay. Is it, is it, is it Mary? We say it, Mary. Mary wants to know about money. I'll do this one, Andy, if you could take okay. the show for a few minutes, you and Jackie. Yeah. Keep, keep the link up. Thank you. <laughs> keep the link up on that. Let's see. What do you, how do you, how do you like my bandana? I here? like the bandana. <laughs> I was um, trying to, I tried to order my flower thing, but I wasn't going to get it in time. So oh. I'll have to order it for next year. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to ask the audience uh, or our viewers, you know, post anything down that um, any future topics on 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 shows that you'd like us to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, we have so many topics that that we can choose from, but we really uh, we want to hear what you you guys think. Um, you know, there's. There's just a range of topics. So, you know, ghost hunting and investigations, cleansing, clearing, mediumship, tarot, manifesting. Um, manifesting, yep. Got so much. Um, Looks, we, yeah. We have, we have a, a lot of questions coming in. Let's oh, see. yeah. Yeah, we ha we have a good amount of questions going on over Marley, here. Marley, Marley, do you have a, a significant other in your life, or a man? Yeah, just let, it, just answer that for Jackie. Yeah. Okay, let me go ahead with, uh, or I'm going to say Mary. I hope I'm saying. I think it's right. uh, Marie. See, I think it's Mary okay. or Mari. Yeah, Mar we're gonna make your name up. <laughs> your name is this we're right connected. now. I'm connected. Okay, <laughs> I have such a sweet um, um, 
thing for you. Um, I get the Queen of Cups, which is such a nurturing um, woman. And I feel um, very creative, like you're very creative and also uh, very intuitive. So I feel like there's psychic ability with you. Um, I do feel like I want to tell you in the future, past uh, three months that I'm looking at, I feel like whatever something that you've done, you're going to turn away and go in a different way. And, and it's really great. It's a path to your future. So I feel like something that you've built up, not quite done, but you were doing it a certain way, is going to be a positive change for you. Uh, I get the magician card for you. So um, a quick look. I don't have uh, money. Um, could you put her her link back up, please? Um, okay, that's fine. Um, I don't have money, but what I have for you is a magician card. And that tells me money making idea will come in anywhere between now and two weeks. So when this idea comes in from the other side, um, write it down. Let me tell you, when I was young in say my 20s and my 30s, I had fantastic ideas come in and Nobody knew where they were coming from. And I actually made inventions and got patents and stuff. So this is really, uh, you'll just get this thought in and say, you know, that's a good idea. I bet you that make money. Bingo, it will. So I get that. I feel like you're going to get something that you want. Um, let me look. Past the three months. Um, I do feel like I've got... Um, an ambitious woman that comes in as an ally for you. And I feel like after a month from now, and maybe even a short trip after that, and it could be with her. Um, I just do get that there's a possibility of you getting um, some kind of an offer to make money. And I get this in month three, because it tells me you have all the skills to do whatever this is. And I want you to know that really good skills are attached to this. So I feel like you'll be fine. And I feel like the offer comes in after two months from now. So I don't see like the card saying, here's the money uh, or any, you know, bonuses or any extra money coming in. But there's an idea for it. There's an offer. And I feel like there's somebody involved in that you have all the skills to do it. All right. So that's what I have for you. Okay. Wow. Do we have another question? Me too. How about this one, Jackie? Pretty... Which, which one? Let's see. Amber Holum. I would like to know how the next few months look for me and my family, please. Okay. Do you want me to take this one, Andy? Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay, go. I need a couple minutes. <laughs> she needs her, her minutes so she can draw the cards. Huh. Well, for the next few months for my family. Huh. I hope things are going okay with your family right now, Amber. And that you guys are doing all right. Let's see. Wow. Oh, so it looks like uh, Mary... Um, Mari is Sonia. Is her her name? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> that's what it is. We got oh, an answer on that one. And Larissa said aliens and hybrids would be a really good topic. That um, would down, be a really good topic. Yeah. Um, Somebody put down witch. Oh, assuming, assuming they want us to talk about witches. Oh. I can do that. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got that. I have class. <laughs> I have, I'm teaching uh, Wiccan candle making um, on the 23rd. And you have the prop, too. You have, you have the witch that was I happen you. to be Wiccan trained. <laughs> okay, Amber said, like, life and money and my son. I guess. So um, you know what? It's whatever the other side. I already took uh, the yeah. card. So whatever the other side wants to tell you, um, yeah. that's what we got. Okay, Amber, let me go ahead and start. I do get you being on guard. This is a very stressful way to be. You have the nine of wands, which is like, I almost want to say prepare to fight. It's like, okay, you got me once and I'm on guard now to see what's going to happen. I do also get a low energy of um, 
of lack of motivation, something going on, energy crossing you. I do feel like um, after three months, you have a chance to go on a short trip, okay? I got great ideas in the past for you. I do also feel like you have money-making ideas that have come to you. So the first person I have here is a woman, and it may or may not be you since we can't communicate like really fast. But I would say it's you. I get a, a money-minded woman. So this woman would be very down to earth and be thinking about money and dealing with money a lot. You have an opportunity in week three and four from now to get some counseling and advice. And I need you to do that. Your opportunities kind of come, so take it. You need to talk to someone, even though some decisions and stuff can be made on your own, you need to talk to someone that will present, okay? I'm not sure if it's the person that's got the money minded person or someone else okay but it'll happen and when they come in talk to them you have really good cards for month two so i have a reason to celebrate card and i like that when i'm looking at relationships it's such a strong card it's almost like an engagement card so reason to celebrate comes after a whole month so if you're having difficulties and i see that with the first card that came down then I totally would be manifesting and, you know, Andy and I are happy to provide you some information on that if needed and manifest use the law of attraction to bring what you want in. Now at the end of the month two, I get the ace of cups and this is a very loving card. However, I always have to tell people there's a little part of it that's fertility and to be careful. That And I don't know who it's connected to. But last year when I did a reading for two different moms about their daughters, it came up and I told them when they both came back and those two girls got pregnant on the month I told them. So I always put that in. Be careful. But it's a very loving card. You get some money coming in at the beginning of month three. Money connected to you. So when I say connected, I mean that it's owed you you or rightfully yours sometimes it's inheritance tax returns and money paid back or a bonus at work so money comes in okay so that's really good i have a man that comes in importance at the end of month three he is a little rigid he's strong he's got a big personality so he's the king of swords the king of swords are very capable and usually physically fit and strong personality uh, but they go by the book. So that's the only thing, that being rigid type of thing. They are really good and smart. They're really good. Um, uh, they have a justice theme. So they really do like to be um, sometimes is lawyers or military or police or something. But nonetheless, a capable, strong uh, male comes in at the end. So um, I don't see anything um, bad here. Um, except for the card that comes down telling me like you're ready for something to happen and it's more adverse. So I would definitely start manifesting and um, get this counseling, this advice that comes after two weeks, week three and four would be needed. Okay. So that's what I have for you. Money's not going to come in for two months. So manifest for it to come in. Amber, private message us if you need the manifesting um, information. It's crazy works, guys. That's what, when we do the manifesting show, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to tell everybody the crazy stories of what uh, <laughs> private jets, celebrities, $75,000, a husband. What has been manifested that I know of from people that I know <laughs> It's just like crazy, 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 crazy. Andy, do you want to take one? Yeah. Uh, looks like we have Jeannie Dinsmore. Will I get on the list for an apartment? Jeannie, you know, I had good friends a long time ago up in Santa Barbara, and their last names were Dinsmore. They mm -hmm. were wonderful friends. Mm -hmm. Do you know anybody up there that ever lived up there? No. Wait. No, Santa Barbara. Oh, darn. Wouldn't that be something? I love that. I love that crazy stuff that happens. Like my grandmother, my grandmother was up in Alaska 
Mm-hmm. And my grandfather would get, he had a heart problem and other things. He would get terrible nosebleeds. And he had one when they were, they were always deer hunting and stuff. And he had this, he had blood all over him. It was terrible. So they were in a remote campground in Alaska. So she leaves that, that space and she goes over and she finds some people in another space and knocks on the door for help. She was from, my grandmother was from Ramona, California. She's knocking on the door and say, my husband is bleeding. I need help. They come and they help. And then they're talking and they go, where are you from? Ramona, California. Where are you from? Ramona, California. Wow. Uh, What's the, what is the odds? That they were both in the same from the same little town. That is I mean, crazy. And they're up in Alaska. I, and then I had a supervisor once, and she took a vacation to to London. And so she's walking around London, and she bumps into this lady, and they look at each other, and it was actually um, one of our clients. <laughs> so, That's crazy. So, okay, it's a small world, and. I love uh, serendipity. I love when um, you meet people that, you know, that know somebody or, you know, in different places. I think Andy's ready. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, Jeannie, uh, will I get on the list for an apartment? So, I went out three months. Um, I the first card down for you, and I got the hermit. So you feel like you're alone in all of this. Um, but there, you know, the the hermit is holding a lantern, so there's some light at the end of the tunnel. So you still have a spark there, some hope. Um, but the energy crossing you is new beginnings. So I have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is good. This is um, a perfect time to manifest for the right the right place um to get on that list to uh attract the right people to help you to get on a list um month one um things things tend to look good i mean everybody it it feels like everybody's on board with the uh decision probably to move um however i have a little snake in the grass so be careful uh, if there's, I feel like there's two, maybe two or three options. And one of them, you know, if you feel kind of iffy about them, um, to, then that's good because you probably don't want to deal with them. Um, and this is in regards to finding an apartment. So you're going to feel kind of, I feel like there's at least one or two places that you were kind of unsure and you just kind of get like a bad feeling. So they're just showing you, just watch out for that. Uh, they'll, they'll take your money and probably overcharge you or something, not give you the, all of the information. Um, month two is where I see a new beginning. So this is where I get the ace of wands. You have a lot of motivation. Um, this is the time where I feel like you're finally able to relax. And you're like, yes, okay. So we 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 found something. Um, month three is uh, the final outcome is the magician. So you know, use your your great ideas, your talents. Um, it's the inventor card. I think that's what, Debbie, you call it, the inventor card as well. Yeah, it's super creative card yeah. and, and being yeah. able to make something tangible or um, or a money-making idea. But it's a, it's a creative way to get what you want. So uh, that's, that's what I got. So, You know, Jeannie and – excuse me, Andy, Jeannie – I'm telling you that manifesting's fabulous. Private message, uh, psychic fixes, and let us get you the information so that you can start manifesting and bringing things in faster and getting on the list of the apartment and, and letting your name come right up and get in. How's that? Let us help you. So please go ahead and private message us, and we'll send you some help. 
that's what it's all about, guys, is, is helping each other in this world. And I've seen manifesting work. And Andy and I wrote a book, Many Ways of Manifesting. And um, you know it's a little book, but it's got every single thing in there that you need to bring out the world to you. And so we want to help you with that. Absolutely. So do do that, and we'll get it out to you tonight. Oh, you're welcome, Amber. Yeah. All right. That was cool. We have any more? Yes. How how many people? Is Sabine still here? I don't see Sabine oh, here. Darn. She had a question last time and we didn't get get the question done. Let's see. Uh Sabine, huh? Sorry guys, I'm just scrolling through here. That's fine. It, um she hasn't picked up her Dairy Queen gift card. I still have two Dairy Queen gift cards. If the people don't come get them, you know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to have it. I'm going to have chocolate dip cones. Oh, so, Sabine's still here. She said still here. <laughs> hey, okay. Sabine, do you have a question? Yeah, do you have your question? Put it down for us. So and if can anybody can scroll back to the beginning to see uh, uh, yeah. jo Joanne, our book is for sale on Amazon.com. And we can put a link in in for you. Um, do you have the affiliate link? Yep, Andy should, for many ways. Yeah, all the books uh, in the in our link description will have the the links to our books. Yeah, and to our sponsor. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. So um, where we put up on the fan page and we have our little rules and our discl disclaimer and all of that. We uh, have the links to all our books, including the new one. I just love that. The new book. I just love the look and, and we've got people, we've got our first review, five stars. I'm so Yay. excited. Oh. So Sabine and put down her question. Um, any major events in my life until the Sabine, we're not doing a whole year. <laughs> I'll be We're only doing I'll be three months. I'm go you know what? I can. I will. Let me She'll I will do it. I will. Okay, it's gonna be really super broad. She knows that she yeah. can come over anytime and get, <laughs> get something. Oh, and get and I was like, can she give me a little question that Andy could do? Because she gets the readings from me all the time. Okay, I will look so you guys can talk to. Uh, well, I, look at her ears on the dog's ears. <laughs> look yeah. at Sabine's yeah. ears. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Look at Sabine's ears. <laughs> her, her, um, her picture profile, that's such a beautiful dog. Yeah, that's cute. Well, when Aunt Debbie was talking about, like, a really small world, um, I work at a furniture store, and I was checking out a customer, and I was looking at him, and he looks so familiar, and I looked at him, and I said, sir, do you go by the name Dion by any chance? Because his name was something else on, on his order, and he goes... Yeah, and I go, are you Dion Butler? You used to play for the Chargers in San Diego? And he looks at me, and he goes, yeah, I used to play for the Chargers. How'd you know that? And I was like, I'm from San Diego. <laughs> wow, that's neat. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I can never, you know, I probably wouldn't remember the name. I know you. <laughs> I know you. Uh, the, okay. <laughs> Sabine, okay. Sabine, you have the judgment card. And so this is like a big awakening happening for you right now. And I also have the card of feeling alone and not supported. So those are cards I want the energy to be better for you. Um, I do feel like that you're not going to quite know um, in a year uh, where you're going and have the whole um, path mapped out, but you are going to go in a different direction. I have a nice success for you card for you for your past. I feel like you need to save money and save more money. Watch the money. And I feel like, um, let's see, let me break this up a little bit. Um, 
uh, I was looking at one year, right? Okay. I do feel like that pretty soon you're going to be getting a different change in home conditions and maybe a new home, okay? I get the death card, which is a complete change in lifestyle for you. So I feel like a new home's coming, and I can show the cards. I should show the cards. Uh, new home's coming, and then a complete change in lifestyle is a death card. I feel like you will feel... Uh, at six months, I feel very stuck. Um, this is the card of being very, like, I don't have much control over what's going on right now. Um, I do feel like that whatever you had built up in your life, you're going to leave. And you're going to go make a positive change and go on to your future, okay? Um, the ultimate outcome for you, Sabine, for the year is this card. And this is the Page of Swords. That's when... Like I said, after a year, you're not quite, you're ready for a clean start, a, you know, fresh start, a clean slate, and a wonderful beginning. But this one still is like, I don't trust what my future is. So you have a lot of major uh, events coming. And one I feel like is a new home or different home conditions, but I feel like a new home and a whole different way of living. So these all are positive cards, though. Okay, but the more that you can plan in and plan ahead of time, the better you're going to feel at the end of the year, because I feel like you're still like, I don't really trust where it's going, but I'm going to do it. So I would say pre-planning is the big thing, but I do see a major event happening for you this year. Okay, that's what I have. Yeah. And you are supported. I'm one of your friends. You are supported. <laughs> you need support. I'll be there. So that's what I have. Are you kidding? We have like free readings and two of the best readers in the world here. <laughs> Come on, you guys. Yeah. You know, and we've got tacos we're giving out. In about five minutes, we're going to have to play a game. And, yeah. Uh, and of course, we're sitting here going, is anybody ready with the game? No. <laughs> We got. I want to do trivia questions at some point for, for. Oh for yeah, yeah. It's kind of late, huh? You know what? We have a full moon coming up on the twenty eighth, and summer solstice. We have two big things. Um, as far as Wiccan things, um, I'll do a Wiccan show absolutely, and um, I've got all the herbs and the spices and all the magic. Um, but the full moon, when it comes up, you guys be prepared. I'll put some stuff on Psychic Fix's fan page. So you'll want to put out a pitcher of water to charge, set an intention on it, and put out all kinds of a little altar and stuff. There's lots of things. Put your crystals out. And um, we'll talk about that the week before. Okay? So that we can be yeah. all ready. Yeah. Well, I'll That's get some a good idea. Together so that they can actually, we can give out um you know how to's you know especially i think the big thing that people need to do i mean you can attract love and stuff we can do with that but for me it's like wealth you know get put your money stuff out because it's amazing it's vicky here vicky mcdonald is here hi vicky mm -hmm. talking talking about a really great medium here we have vicky mcdonald and um, if you go, um, Andy, it's, it's ha I've got to write it down. Haunted Medium Readings is her Facebook page, right? Yeah. Um, I'll look real quick here. And, okay. Yeah. You go there and you can join. She's got over 4,000 people there. And throughout the week, she does free readings. And um, I've said it before, I, I don't get readings from people. And um, I'm there just to support her um, in a live uh, broadcast. And all of a sudden, she gives me a reading that just kind of blows me away. And it was from my deceased brother that died just um, in December, right before Christmas. And it absolutely was him. And I got a message, a warning. And um, he was absolutely right told me to be careful and I wasn't and I ended up getting hurt and so um, it's, that was really amazing and we will have a um, 
a show on mediumship too. We're good. And we want your topics, like Andy said. Um, now, Larissa, I believe, has a UFO story, maybe. I know somebody in the group has a UFO. Um, Vicki has it. Experience with haunted and medium reading. Go join her group. And you'll love number one. She's got all this great information and funny stuff. And you can enjoy interacting with everybody on there. And she also has those times where she goes live and gives the most brilliant readings ever. So um, if you're lucky enough to get a reading from her, oh, my goodness, take that. Take it up. Do it. It's great. But we um, have some people that are uh, have some UFO stories. So we're going to have... a. Uh, Let's go ahead and say it now. If you have had an experience with UFO, um, go ahead and private message us. And we would love to have you on or have your story. And we'll do the stories on one of our live shows. And I know my sister has one. I have one, you know. So it's amazing how many people have seen something. Um, or um, maybe something up close. Larissa, yeah, yes, okay. I was going to say I believe she has one. You're welcome, Vicki. We love for you to be on our show, and we love for you to be here and support us in our live broadcast also. I know it's late where you live, and but we appreciate you popping in for sure. So, But um, now, to give tacos away, <laughs> there we go thank you for deciding on the thing um jackie can you you figure out a number and keep it to yourself and yep do you have paper you don't need paper it's okay no i don't have paper on me but i'll do so pick a number from one to 100. I was going to say 1 to 10. Everybody wins. <laughs> 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 to 1 to 100. And please go ahead and post it in the comments. If you have won in the last 30 days, you can guess, but you can't win. Because we have too many multiple winners. <laughs> but you can, you can play along and see how psychic you are. Okay. And you're zooming in on Jackie. She's the one who knows the number. And then okay. Jackie will, um, when we get some numbers in, then Jackie will tell us who the winner is. Yep. Let's see. Okay, Sabine's, Sabine's got 33. one. Oh, Chris, Chris is here. Chris, Chris. hi. Chris, uh, 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 um, Janine has kind of put a little hint in that maybe you and her will be on our our show. Will Ooh. you be on our show at some oh. point? Chris is a great uh, paranormal investigator. Janine investigates with her. And she was just, wasn't that a great show on Wednesday? Janine yeah. came yeah. live. Oh, my goodness. So I kept the picture. I forgot to give it to you of the graves. So Janine was in a uh, Colorado in Denver, and she went to Jess Chessman Park and told us a story about, like, they totally, I almost said a word, totally took the <laughs> <head stone. laughs> uh, I didn't. Totally took the headstones and, and took them off, the off all the graves. So the people, they didn't know the dead people that were under there, and they made it into a park. And then they're digging up the people, and then to make money, the guy's chopping them into thirds so that he can make more money per body. I mean, it's this crazy story that's true. And <laughs> so anyway, uh, it was a great show. She showed, told us a story, and she got grabbed there once and all this stuff. And so that was crazy. But she went to All Allinger's Park. And she did another remote the next day. So yesterday. And so she's going around. And Chris, Chris's last name is Oliver. And so she starts filming. And there is a grave with Oliver on it. So, okay, whatever. So, so she's going to filming and all of that. And she did her broadcast. And it's done. Then we all try. Hi, Scott. We all try to go back. And, um. And talk uh, to everybody who does comments. So I saw somebody did a comment. And I went back in. And I 
I was typing the comment and I looked up at my laptop screen and here is the still picture on the video. The top grave is Duncan and then another grave and the bottom grave is Anderson. And my name is De Debbie Duncan Anderson. And so Chris comes in and says, see, Chris <laughs> oh, says, our wow. name showed on the stone. Her name was there, Oliver, and then right there on the picture. I mean, I what are the odds that I would see that video? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. and go, oh, Duncan Anderson. I went, oh, my goodness. So, you know, <laughs> like we were just talking about the crazy ways that spirits can uh, contact and communicate. And I think, Chris, that they want us to go. Um that they want us to visit that place. So we're thinking about going. But there's something, too, about, you know, hey, I'm Wiccan, and I'm, uh, I'm a little bit not trusting that what is calling us to go to, <laughs> you know, Colorado. Yeah. You know, we get there, and then, mm, yeah. So, but that was just, like, that was super crazy. That That was so funny, and we're just, like, we've got, all, but all my names were there. But then again, you know, I tell people, turn on closed captioning. If you really kind of want to see, I love the ghost apps. I mean, they, mm -hmm. my, you put one in my house and it'll say Debbie. And then it'll say like the captain's here in the treasure. And then he got murdered and all this stuff. And they'll say Debbie. And it goes on and on. And it'll say Debbie. It'll say Debbie five or six times. I put a oh, pillow wow. over it because it won't shut up when I'm doing something, you know, an event. So, but closed captioning, I've watched closed captioning on my TV, in my house, and there will be my name. And I'm like, number one, that's not, I'm not on the cable bill. I'm not. <laughs> and closed yeah. captioning does not work this way. And then I go, well, what did I see? What did I see? And I'll re-watch again, and then it'll up my name will come up again. So they communicate in really crazy ways. They so do. Anyway, there's, I, isn't it? It's I just... I had just down downloaded a um, one of those ghost apps where I just happened to watch their live show and they're filming at cemeteries and he they created their own ghost app so they had it developed and whatever and um, it doesn't have the white noise that you usually hear so you know like how you used to see the snowflakes on the TV when it wasn't. I don't think they have that happen anymore with new TVs. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought poltergeist. What? Yeah. Yeah, like the poltergeist <laughs> TV where you're seeing stuff. Yeah. Um, but they don't have that noise that used to be that way. So mm -hmm. I tried it out downstairs. And I watch a lot of um, different, I don't know, documentaries and stuff on I like conspiracy theories, so <laughs> I do just a little bit. So I was watching <laughs> one on uh, M the Project MK Ultra. So, but that was two days ago, and as clear as day, when I had I had the app just playing next to me on my phone, and it said um, MK Ultra, MK Ultra. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like this this is a legit program. Like, how would it know that? When, you know? Yeah. So. When Chris comes on, when Chris Oliver comes on, she's going to tell you the most com incredible communication using like the Ovilus app and um, clear mm. sentences. Now they usually you're supposed to say like one word or something. Well, they'll talk to them. And so we're going to, I can't wait. I know we've got like, Janine's out in Colorado and I think Chris is, you know, going to be going somewhere and I, we just have to manifest that it syncs up because their stories are just going to knock the socks off of everybody. It's just so incredible. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're ready to find a, a winner, a taco winner. So my number was 28 and the first person that put down the number closest to it was Sabine. She already she already won. She won the other day. <laughs> she won last time. So within thirty days, uh, Sabine. Yeah, and then let's see. Who's closer? The other closest. Well, we had another person put down thirty-five, and that was okay. Sonia. So that would be the second person that would get it. So Sonia. Okay, Sonia, congratulations! Sonia. You win tacos. But, Is she still on? 
Sonia, I want you to private message me with a address and let me get your gift card to lovely Taco Bell. And you may I think, have some burritos or tacos on us. I think she's in Australia. Oh, no. Then you get, <laughs> you get gift B. <laughs> gift B. I think I'm trying to scroll back to the comments. Uh, I know we had somebody from Australia okay. come on. What we're gonna do, what we're gonna do, Sonia, if you are in Australia, we're going to send you a PDF of one of our books. Okay. So you'll win a PDF of a book and we'll send it. Otherwise, you're out of the tacos. And they probably don't have a taco bell there anyway. You probably I don't have know. some bar. You never know. <laughs> I know, Sabine, but you just won. Yeah, it's not they're going to they're going to get suspicious the same people are winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Especially bad. when Jackie got one of the gift cards from her mom that won. You know, hey, then we're hey, just like hey, mm, I nepotism thing. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, yeah. this has been a lot of fun and we did uh oh she's from Australia. Yes. Yeah, so we're going to send her a PDF of uh of How about uh can we send her a PDF of our new book? Yeah. Uh, yeah. The little book of big evil is traveling to Australia. Mm -hmm. So we'll send that. We can't sign it because it's a PDF. We're going to send it in digital form so that you can enjoy so it. So Sonia asked if we could give the gift card to uh Larissa. We're not, we're saving the gift card we're for next time. We're saving the gift card. Yeah. Cuz you won. Because, because this is worth $10 that book. <laughs> It's one prize on Fridays, guys, unless we have a special show. So we'll be sending that. And next time, that means you have to be here next time. And um, we will um, on Friday and we'll give another tacos out. How's that? We want to acknowledge again our sponsor, Paparazzi um, Accessories, mm -hmm. Stacy Carr for um, sponsoring the show. And again, a shout out to the wonderful gay community. Um, we um, flavors of the rainbow. So, um, you guys, I love you, and we love our fans. And if we ask you to private message us, please do so that we can get you the manifesting information out. So, Andy, any parting words till we go to the lobby? I, I want to say thank you, everyone that that is watching live and also um, that will be watching this later after we post it. Uh, Pride Month is a very, you know, it's a big deal for me personally. Uh, it's just a way to celebrate who we are as individuals and um, um, and acceptance of everybody. So that's that's what I have to say. So oh, that was well said. That's yeah. wonderful. Jackie, we love you. Thank you for being yeah, here. I love you guys. Come on. And we're gonna go to the lobby now, everyone. And um we will see you guys Wednesday. We're still trying to get Zoe on or somebody. And <laughs> but we have a lot of <laughs> We've got several people that are offering, so we'll see who we end up with. But we're we just love having our guests. And again, um, Kevin Lee's going to be coming July 11th with that, where the spirit um, um, art and yeah. where I just can't wrap my head around. You leave out a paper and paint or crayons or pens, and they actually draw a picture or do art. I mean, I'm like, I can't wait. <laughs> I want to do it. And I really want to ask Zoe to do a fairy reading for me. Uh, I know, I, you know, I was like all for it until, and she goes, it's really a hard, arduous thing to do a fairy automatic reading. And like, thank you, Chris. And I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have asked, but I really, part of me is like the, the fairies are very mischievous. And I'm like, do I really want to get a note from them? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm not really sure. Like, go out to the garden, Debbie. Go out to the garden. <laughs> and I'll be going, no, I'm never going to go. <laughs> All right. So, okay, you guys, we're going to leave you and have a great evening and uh, have a safe week. And 
we'll see you in the next one. We're going to be here. We're not going to be live on YouTube anymore. We love you, and we love having the fans right here. So we will be right here on Wednesdays and Fridays at 630 Pacific. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take this out. <laughs>